Hey there! In today's video, we're diving into everything you need to know about a bad EGR valve, what it does, how it fails, and the signs to watch out for. So what's the purpose of the EGR valve? Let's start with the basics. Your engine needs a mix of fuel and air to power the pistons. Now, the air we breathe is roughly 20% oxygen and 80% nitrogen. When this mixture combusts in the engine at temperatures over 1,300 degrees Celsius, it creates harmful pollutants called nitrogen oxides. This is where the EGR valve, or exhaust gas recirculation valve, comes in. Its job is to recirculate a portion of exhaust gases back into the combustion chamber. By reintroducing these gases, the engine temperature drops, reducing the formation of harmful NOx emissions. The EGR valve works by opening and closing to regulate how much exhaust gas gets recirculated. A properly functioning valve balances performance, efficiency, and emissions. But when it goes bad, your car can suffer big time. Now that we know what the EGR valve does, let's jump into the common symptoms of a bad EGR valve. The first symptom is the check engine light comes on. Most modern vehicles are equipped with advanced monitoring systems that constantly keep an eye on your exhaust gas recirculation. These systems, controlled by the onboard computer, known as the powertrain control module, can detect exhaust gas recirculation system issues. When the PCM detects a problem, it triggers the check engine light and stores diagnostic trouble codes to help pinpoint the issue. Here's the thing. These trouble codes can tell you if your EGR valve is faulty. If you're not sure about what these OBD2 codes mean, you can always visit our website, obdcode.org, where we've got a full list of codes and their explanations. I'll also put a link down below if you need an OBD2 scanner, or you can head to any auto parts store and scan your car for free. All right, the next symptom is poor fuel mileage. If your EGR valve gets stuck in the open position, you'll start noticing your trips to the gas station becoming more frequent. When the EGR valve is stuck open, it continuously allows exhaust gases back into the combustion chamber, lowering the temperature inside. While that may sound harmless, it actually causes the fuel-air mixture to ignite inefficiently. This inefficient ignition not only reduces fuel efficiency, but can also lead to long-term engine wear. Now let's talk about one of the most noticeable signs of a bad EGR valve, loss in performance. Ever pressed down on the gas pedal and felt like your car just isn't responding the way it should? That could be a sign of a bad EGR valve. Whether it's stuck open or closed, a faulty EGR can mess with your engine's performance. If the valve is stuck open, it allows too much exhaust gas to recirculate, which reduces the amount of fresh air entering the combustion chamber. This leads to an incorrect air-fuel mixture, robbing your engine of power. Now, if the valve is stuck closed, the emissions skyrocket, and your engine struggles to maintain efficiency, both scenarios can result in a noticeable loss of performance, especially during acceleration. The fourth common symptom of a bad EGR valve is a failed emission test. When the EGR valve is stuck closed, it stops recirculating exhaust gases back into the engine. This means there's no way to reduce the harmful nitrogen oxides, NOx, produced during combustion. As a result, your vehicle's emissions go way beyond acceptable limits. Without the EGR doing its job, your car has no control over the amount of pollutants leaving the exhaust system. That's why your emissions test could end up with a failing score. All right, symptom number five, engine knocking. When the EGR valve is stuck closed, the combustion chamber's temperature can soar past safe limits. At these high temperatures, fuel can ignite too early, a phenomenon known as engine knocking. Knocking happens because the fuel-air mixture is igniting before it should, especially when the engine is running at low RPMs. This not only creates that distinctive knocking sound, but also puts severe strain on your engine. Symptom number six is a rough idle. When the EGR valve is stuck open, it let in too much exhaust gas into the combustion chamber. This throws off the air-fuel mixture, which should ideally be perfect for smooth operation. With the wrong mixture, the engine struggles to maintain a steady idle. The result? 
Your car idles rough, and you might hear rattling noises that sound like your car is having a bad day. And finally, symptom number seven is a smell of fuel. When the EGR valve isn't functioning properly, your engine might burn more fuel than necessary. This leads to the release of excess hydrocarbons and nitrogen oxides from the tailpipe, creating a dangerous mix of harmful gases. These gases don't just harm the environment, they also have a pungent odor that can make your car's exhaust almost unbearable to be around. 